Hello my viewer. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kate and I do crochet and I'm back with another tutorial for a butterfly. So here is a butterfly that I I did. And so today we are going to do this. You need two yarns of different colors. And in this case I used gray and baby pink and now in this one I'm going to be using this blue and baby pink so now we start so where I used the baby pink I'm going to be using the blue uh, yarn so now we start with a slip knot here is my slip knot and we make a chain of six one, two, three, four, five, and six. And in the first stitch or chain, we make a slip knot. We have a small circle. Now we chain uh, three. We want to hide this yarn. So one, two, and three. Inside this circle, we make a double crochet. Chain two, one, two. We make two double crochets, one and two. Again, chain two, make two double crochets in the ring. So we repeat this pattern until we have sets of two double crochets together, eight of them separated by chain two. So now continue doing this. We have done already three sets. Now continue until you have the eighth one. So now I have eight of them. And now I want to join with the starting one. So I chain two as I was doing and then slip stitch on top of the first chain that we did which served as our first double crochet so we slip stitch there now we have kind of a circle now to continue we want to cut this yarn so we chain one and cut the yarn and pull this through so now we want to join the new color your second color and now we are joining this color in between these two double crochets note it's not in the chain two but in between any of these double crochets and now i find it better to join where i just ended so i pick my yarn and I go through there, I bring it and I chain one to secure that yarn. Now in the chain two that you are doing, we are going to be doing six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five and six and now in between the two double crochets we make a slip stitch again in the in the space of chain two we make six double crochets one two three four five and six here is my last stitch in the next uh, space between two double crochets we make a slip stitch 
So now we continue making these double crochets in between this chain two space. When you come to this uh, two double crochets, make a slip stitch uh, in between them. And now we meet at this point to continue uh, with this tutorial. So now I've done all the eight, uh, I can call them petals. And now I want to finish this. So where I started with a slip stitch, again I'm going to slip stitch there. So now you can um, see that it is forming something like a flower, but it's folded. So now we want to fold it into two. So you fold that into two. On this side we have two petals and on the other side and the back and the back. So this side asks for the top and the bottom and the top and the bottom. So now make sure where you've just ended the, um, the row is at the center of the other of the upper part. Let it not be on the sides. Now we want to make uh, this part. So now using, and now as we are folding, you fold it as it is, just like this, and not the other way. All right, you fold it just as you finished it. So now we want to make a chain long enough to go from here and to wrap it all around up to this point where we just started. So now depending on the, the yarn that you are using, we are going to chain. I can't tell an exact number of the chains because of the type of yarn that you are using. So you will just make sure she goes the other side. When you find it uh, not enough, you add. When it's too long, you reduce. And mine just fits there. So now you want to come to the other side where we started and slip stitch uh, that chain there. So I slip stitch there, making sure it wraps it very well so now we can cut our yarn we chain one to secure we cut that yarn and pull it through now we have excess yarns that are appearing so this one we had already eaten we can cut This one as well, we cut. And now the one that we just did, we hide that yarn and then we cut uh, the extra. So hide that yarn. Make sure it goes, the last end goes in the inside. Let's do it the last time, making sure it goes in the wrong side like that. So now when we cut, it is not on the right side. So now our butterfly is done and you can leave it as it is or add this. I don't know what they are called. Antennae, something like that. Mm -hmm. So now, to add this, you need to use the first color that you used. In this case, we used the, uh, this blue. So now just cut a small piece of that yarn. And you tie a knot. Let's tie a knot first. 
so you tie a knot closer to the end like that you can cut this excess yarn here and now we bring it we cross it in this chain that we did on the other side we are going to do the same we tie a knot just take your time we tie a knot right there and now we cut the excess yarn so that is so done so now you can decide to use it as a decor or stitch it on some pieces like kids clothing or baby blankets or in anything that you feel like doing it so now this was it for today if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are a new member here and to the old members thank you for coming back and watching this to the end so now drop a comment down below this video and see you next time so for now Goodbye. Bye.